Computers keep changing the world, but their power and safety is limited by their rigid design. The T2 Tile project works for bigger and safer computing using Living Systems principles. Follow our progress here on T Tuesday Updates. I'm Dave Ackley. This is the 22nd T Tuesday Update. Let's get into it. This week, I'm going to talk. Today, I'm just going to talk about the bill of materials. Uh, uh, there's all sorts of things happening in the research on the science side uh, uh, that I'm saving up for the, the paper. The A-Life uh, conference folks have not yet seen fit to extend the deadline, so I don't even know whether I'm going to be able to have a complete paper ready by then. It may end up being an extended abstract, which is a two-page thing. But there'll be something to submit. We'll see what it is as far as we go along. Uh, the the 3D printer story, which we've talked about a lot lately. The the latest news is it was a little bit finicky after I uh, got got the clog out, but then did manage to uh, get things to work pretty well. So we're cranking out uh, new cases again uh, with the uh, modified for the not having the countersunk screws. Uh, um, updated the firmware that was a terrifying thing but it worked all right i'm not going to tell you about it uh okay let's talk about uh the bob uh where we left off last week uh, i had bought these thousand uh nuts to go on to connect up to the bottom of the screws that are going to connect onto these things as well as other places inside uh, um supposed to be shipping by dhl but last we had seen uh they had gone uh from dubai to a tour of europe and, and ended up in cincinnati uh, uh in fact they did show up the very next day uh, um making the trip from cincinnati to albuquerque and uh and you know there, there they were they were shipped from china care of dubai there's your global economy for you so that's not globalization i don't know what is uh, um this is the bag it came in this was a little bit strange it had extra special yellow and red tape saying it was repacked and furthermore the interior box also has a dhl tape on it so i guess in the course of going through all of these places somewhere along the way it got inspected but in fact what was inside was a bag of nuts uh, i uh, counted out a uh, hundred of them and, and put them on the scale whoops uh, uh i messed up the scale that's not the correct measurement because i got the tear wrong uh by the time i got it fixed up that's the same still 100 nuts uh 30, uh, 30 grams for 100 nuts 306 grams for the whole bag seems about right and then they work fine uh, uh you know they took a long time I and mean, i don't know it, it really was kind of making me think do i really need to be sh shipping all this stuff all the way around the world to get it i mean you know the prices were i mean with with these nuts the, the, i could certainly get m3 stainless steel nuts uh locally or more locally but you know when i was shopping on aliexpress i got to the point where it was like oh that's a perfectly fine price why pay less why well why pay more but why look more just go ahead and do it so for the screws that go with with these uh, i'm looking to local places we'll talk about that uh, in a future week uh, um but in any event yes the cats were thrilled that <laughs> the nuts had arrived and they were actually all right i wasn't completely thrilled with the fact that this was claimed to be dhl shipping and then it took as long as it did uh, uh so i did leave feedback you know product was okay but avoid the store if you need fast dhl shipping i mean i just gave, i gave the blow by blow and the store responded you know thank you for your support <sighs> uh, so be it uh the the nuts are in great uh, um also had the order for the screws that we had found that the uh, uh, screws that were going to go through this thing were going to be 28 millimeters instead of 25 millimeters, so they weren't going to require countersinking. We're waiting for those. Uh, uh, those, uh, once again, we got this shipment arrived at incorrect facility again. Same thing. Now, last time this happened, they went from Phoenix back to L.A. and then came back to Phoenix and then went to Albuquerque. This time, thankfully, uh, uh, they uh, got rerouted locally and arrived uh, last Friday. Uh, um, they also 
uh, and so here they are. Uh, these are the, the socket cap screws. And I did find a little bit of a clue what had gone wrong. That uh, somewhere in the DHL routing information, it said, you know, US-PHX, which Phoenix, and it was supposed to apparently say US-ABQ. So that suggests that somewhere in the uh, in, in China, when the, when the package was ingested by DHL, the wrong code was put on it. And then it landed it in the bin that was supposed to be done in Phoenix rather than traveling through Phoenix to get to Albuquerque, whatever. Okay, but uh, uh, here they are. Here's our, our bag of uh, 800, I guess, of these. Uh, uh, the, the black M3 by 28 millimeter uh, socket cap screws. Uh, here they are. Here's the, the uh, this is the 25 millimeter ones that I got at, at Granger. Uh, uh, and here are the 28 millimeter ones that just arrived. They seem fine. Uh, here's what it looks like in the case. Now you see them sticking up. And, you know, if this bugs you sticking up, you got to remember that you know actually once the inner tile connectors are there uh, um it's it's going to be there's a whole lot of multi-level stuff going on and really the uh the socket cap screws, it, to me, if anything, they just sort of create another sort of mid-level rather than actually sticking out like they do when you see single tile by itself. Always want to remember it's going to be in an ocean of tiles. So I'm fine with that. It's got enough, uh, uh, 28 millimeters, it's got enough uh, thread coming through the bottom to grab into the, into the nut or into a brass standoff if that's what we end up using to mount these tiles onto a bigger sheet of acrylic or something to hold a power zone to hold a lotus uh, uh, so great uh, um, but we still had the issue of the uh, p3 the p8 and p9 headers those are the ones that actually connect the beagle bone to the board these two long headers in the middle we looked at from you know long story going back weeks starting with adafruit which led us to this company for yukon and china that has uh, uh had the parts they also had the uh the inner tile connector parts, the the shrouded headers, they had a good pr a good price on that, but you had to buy a thousand of them at a crack. And we went back and forth and all this stuff. Can we get this order? How long would it take? And well, you know, the order is you know please order this instead of order that, and the order is going to be you know three to four weeks. And then they ended up with thirty five business days, seven weeks, and pretty much no matter how much I worked back and forth with them, uh, uh, I, I couldn't get a shorter number for that and I don't want to wait until the middle of April to have these things although who knows maybe that will be fine the way it works out uh, um, but I said screw it uh, the digikey price for the inner tile connectors uh, uh, the shrouded socket headers is not that much worse especially when you take all the uh, the shipping costs uh, the DHL shipping costs and so on from China 260 bucks for enough to do 200 tiles I just said do it uh, and they arrived uh, yesterday um, and and here they are, uh, 1,200 of these things. It actually takes up a fair bit of space. Uh, uh, here they are. They're in trays, very nice, uh, tray after tray of uh, these guys, these uh, uh, little uh, 16 pins total, two rows of eight each with a, a key in it so that we can uh, keep the north and the west and the east all separated from each other. Fine. Check. Uh, um now, once I was, you know, starting to order from DigiKey and so forth, I said, well, you know, the other other parts we wanted, the J9 connector, which is the uh, the 26 pin connector. It's uh, this one over on the side that's used to connect the displays, uh, uh, connect the display to the board. Uh, DigiKey's price on that again, not great, but availability is good. Same thing for the six pin header, which is for the serial port debug pull the trigger on them as well. But what about P8 and P9? Uh, uh, they were 75 cents each from Adafruit, and they didn't even have enough of them if we wanted to, and that was before including shipping. The equivalent part from DigiKey is 71 cents a piece, uh, uh, even in quantity 400, and that doesn't include shipping either. <sighs> So what? I could afford it? Well, you know, all right. Uh, there was a, another company on AliExpress, uh, Hellotronics, uh, that it, the for 
uh, 400 of them instead of being 280 bucks it was 80 and change I passed over these guys because they they didn't take PayPal and they didn't have DHL but I just pulled the trigger so we'll see uh, the the different places that you go look on these things they say 12 to 20 days 23 days we'll see at least that's not business days as far as i know so that has been ordered and now the long and short of it is is that uh our bill of materials that looked like this uh a week ago with red here by the middle of the week uh it looked like this and as of right now it looks like this in other words all of the red items, uh, except for this one up here, uh, all of the red items now have orders in flight to complete the bill of materials. Here, I've only ordered 100 of them because I'm getting them locally. Uh, I want to check out the screws and make sure that they're good, but then it's easy just to make another order for that. So basically, all of the bill of materials stuff has been ordered this is where we wanted to be a month ago or at the very least where we wanted to be two weeks ago but we're here now and the cats are thrilled so uh, um that's it all the rest is uh the stuff i've been working on uh the software the living computation stuff which you know one day hopefully will run on these tiles but for purposes of this uh of this paper i'm running them all in simulation i'm even running them on one big tile in simulation to make things simpler uh, I'm still hoping that the uh, program committee will push back the deadline because if it's really uh, uh, this Friday it, it's going to be an extended abstract for me I'd, I'd rather write a full paper because there's a lot to talk about but I'm just not going to be able to get it uh, you know when I talk about writing the paper there's certain elements of actually getting the data getting the coding working <laughs> and so forth writing encompasses the entire process for me uh, um, and so we'll see we'll have to see uh, um but thanks to everybody <laughs> who has been asking me why i'm not writing i apologize to folks who have uh put uh questions and comments in the uh the gitter uh, the chat room and on youtube uh thank you for being here uh, uh i hope once this paper ships uh, um will be well number one we'll get back to making these manufacturing well, these tiles really happen but also be able to interact more uh, uh and and get back in and, and waste my time on social networks like people are supposed to in the modern era that's it for now really short one thanks dave see you next week thanks for watching